We use this room as our guest bedroom and our home office. Very nice. I like it. Nice. It's got a lot of windows in it. Yeah. Like it. The only problem is we just have this one light and it's a pull chain. Okay. Pull Which chain. is okay, but we'd really love to have a switch on the wall. Well, let me tell you what the issues are here. First of all, I'll give you some history. Okay. So back in the 1800s when this house was built, there was a lamp probably up here run on whale oil. Yeah, and the whale oil, you would just put the oil in the fixture and you would turn the valve up or down to control it. Okay. And then later on, when gas came to the street, they would take that area where there was a light fixture and convert it to natural gas of some sort. Same idea, had a valve on it that you would turn up and down and off, and that's how you controlled the level of the light. Then electricity comes in about 100 years ago. And everyone was used to where the fixture was, so they would take and run electricity to that location. But it would be the same thing. It would have a switch on the fixture itself, or in your case, a pull chain. Now we have to get, to get a switch on the wall, a wire from here across the ceiling and down the wall. What's upstairs? A neighbor's condo. Okay, so that's not going to work. Sometimes if there's an attic, we can get above it. Best case scenario with the structure running this way mm -hmm. would be to get a wire from here across the ceiling to where it meets the wall, notch out the wall, come down the wall, do a wall switch. That's best case scenario. However, a lot of the times, more often than not, you have a lot of structure going this way, there's probably no strapping, so we have to take and make a notch every 16 inches to get to where we're going and make the wire go underneath. It's just, it's a lot of work, it's a mess, you have a nice painted ceiling, I wanna leave that alone. Now, when you wrote in, I had an idea that this was going to be the issue, and I brought something in my truck I want to show you, and uh, I'll be right back. Great. All right. All right, Beth, let me show you what I've brought here. So this device is going to give us all the functions of a light switch without running a wire. This is how it works. First thing we need to do is mount this inside the canopy of the light fixture. Then we bring power to it, constant power, which you already have. We have a white neutral and we have black power, both of them from the electrical panel. Now we need to take this red wire and tie it to the light fixture because that's the switched power. So when this switch is activated, it goes from the black through the switch over to the red, and that's how it's on. When it's off, it disconnects the power from the black, and now there's no power here, the light is off. This is activated wirelessly. This is the wireless antenna here, and a wireless switch. When you push the button, it sends a signal up here and makes this open and close. So all I need to do is change the battery on this? No batteries at all. Just a simple action by pushing this switch sends the wireless signal up to this antenna and then when you push it off, sends a wireless signal up to here and disconnects the power from the red. That's it. Cool. So I need to take down this light fixture so I can get this mounted inside. You know, I actually have another light fixture to put up there and I was going to replace it if you want to change it out. Now's the time. And here's the new fixture bar. Okay, I'll take that new fixture. There you go. I love the brushed nickel. Thanks. It's cool. Now that the ground is attached, we need to tie all the white wires together. The one from our module, the one from our light fixture, and the one from the electrical panel downstairs. All right, so the white's all set. Now the black wire from the module gets tied directly into the building power right here. Okay, and then finally, the black from the light fixture connects to the red of the module. And that's it. Now we can install the fixture. And this LED light bulb, so you'll never have to change it again. Fantastic. See the globe? Very nice. Now we just screw the switch to the wall.
And that is it. Let's turn the power back on and check it out. Okay. All right, Beth, I'll give you the honors for the first time. Okay. Cool. Huh? How's that? Now That's off. Awesome.